Hey guys, welcome to Drinks Tube. My name is Rich and today we have with us the one and only Mr. Greg Foote from the BBC Brit Lab. Greg, please explain what is Brit Lab. All right, cool. So Brit Lab is a channel that answers all of your science questions, basically scratches that nerdy, geeky itch. We've just had a whole load of fun doing a whole video about how taste and flavour works in your mouth. Go check it out at the end of this video, there'll be a little link. What we thought we'd do is to try and put some of that sort of stuff into action and create a drink which is, and I quote, perfectly balanced. Okay, this is like the ultimate science cocktail, isn't it, I guess? It is. For those of you guys at home that make drinks, you'll probably know that balancing your ingredients perfectly is utterly key. For example, getting the lime and the sugar balanced perfectly in your daiquiri is the key to making a great daiquiri, right? But that's only hitting two of the five different tastes that we were talking about before. Yeah, are we gonna try to hit all five? We certainly are. We are also gonna be using salt, bitter, and umami. The in savouriness, there as well. that is that is bold. We are gonna start with the sweet components. My favourite. This is a simple syrup, but it's not just any old simple syrup. If you have a good look at that, it's really it's thick. It's very thick and viscous. The texture is very, very important to the, the overall flavour of your drink. So what we've done in here is we've added some xanthan gum. So this is gonna make loads of drinks, yeah? Yeah, this will make at least 10 drinks. Okay, 15 ml of it in each, got it. Exactly. We also need to add some sour. We're talking about sweet and sour. We're gonna use citric acid, Ooh. which is, well, have a taste of that, go on. This is gonna be fun. Oh, that is sour as, isn't it? Oh, that's not gonna, that's gonna be there for a while. <laughs> so it's a very sour, very sharp powder. So what we need is a teaspoon okay. of citric acid for 150 mils, here you go. Whoa, 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 hang on a minute. Cool, that's that. like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's just less than a teaspoon. Perfect, give that a good stir. Equally sharp and sweet at the same time. That's lovely. Does it work? That's really nice. So for me, that is the basis of the balance of this drink. We've got some uh, tasty old sea salt here, and we're literally just gonna drop in a pinch. Stir that up for you? Yes, please. You are finding this a lot. Salty caramel is a very popular ingredient in a lot of fancy bars and things these days. As we discovered, it does enhance and bring out a lot of interesting flavor. That's amazing. I thought that'd be pretty gross, but um, you're right, it's kind of added another layer and helps bring out the sweet and the, um, the sour as well. In this case, we've decided to use as our bittering agent, green tea, a heaped teaspoon plonked into here. Oh, it smells so good as well. So there are plenty of things that you can use as the bitter agent in your drink. You can use all sorts of stuff, even beer in your cocktails. Yeah, you mentioned beer cocktails, which blows my brain. <laughs> um, what's a good beer cocktail? Uh, we've, done, we've done quite a few. There are loads of really good ones. Things like Lagaritas or the strawberry, uh, strawberry Beer Mojito was fantastic. I think we can probably put a link for that up here. Check it out. I need that in my life. It was awesome. You should be feeling that a little bit more. So you'll be talking about the sweet and sour balance. And then we talked about that saltiness that kind of mm. left you salivating. Now this should sort of hit the side and the back of your mouth a little bit that as is, well. That is even better. This is mirin. So the savoury flavour, okay. Which is a Japanese ingredient. It is a rice wine vinegar. Okay. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna tick all those umami boxes and should take all of these flavours that we were just discussing and coat your mouth with them. How much? Into this, we're gonna need 50 millilitres. So a double shot of, uh, of mirin. Double shot of mirin. So that's it, Rich. You've got all five of the different tastes in the drink. You've nailed it. Well, we have indeed, but we're gonna add a little bit of chamomile to it. Okay. It's not gonna affect the, the taste of the drink, the balance. What it will do is just add this lovely aromatic quality to the flavor of the drink. So stir that down a little bit and let it, in, let it extract. So we need to strain this out. So you've strained most of the, the large parts of the cam off. And you can see the viscosity, the texture of this. These are, they're not sinking, they're not moving around at all. They're, they're virtually in, um, what's the word? Suspension. Suspension. We are going to mix this down with vodka, which has got a lot of mouthfeel to it. 50 ml of vodka. We then need to add 20 milliliters of this mix per drink. So that's 40, 40 ml in total. total. Another one. 20 mils, exactly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stir this down to give it some chill and some dilution. So you'll probably be able to explain the laws of thermodynamics better than me, but the more ice, the better. The more ice, the colder your drink gets. And when it's nice and cold, you know it's nice and dilute. Okay. Yeah. We've chosen some really sexy glasses. Nice. Good temperature, there's some nice chill. Oh, that's the man who's done that before, look how well judged they are. Once or twice. <laughs> 
The dilution aspect in this case is going to be soda water. You'll probably know about this, but the, the bubbles in the soda water are going to carry a lot more flavour across your palate. They're going to help lift and send all those lovely aromatic qualities that we've got in this drink up to your old factory bulb. We've nailed the taste. We've also got to nail the texture, which you've got with the thickness of it there as well, as well as the bubbles. So hopefully this is the flavour of this is going to be amazing. There we go. So it's about half and half. Right? Wait a second. What? There is, there is one more element that we, that we haven't quite touched on when making the perfect drink, and that is the idea of aroma. Oh yeah, I guess so. So in the Brit Lab film, we talked about how uh, you might think flavours all down to taste, but that only picks up five basic tastes, whereas smell, you actually smell over a trillion different odours. Today we're going to be using orange flower water, so the aromatic essence of orange flower, and we're just going to spray it over the top, like so. That's it. Should we have a little taste? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh wow, the aroma is certainly there when you get it, that lovely delicate kind of orange flower and then it's so crisp and clean but it hits every point, right? You were talking about it being really balanced yeah. and I was like, okay, I'm kind of getting that as I was tasting it but that is just so smooth and you just feel it like, yeah, you get every single one of those. You get a bit of salt, quite a bit of sweet, plenty of bitter and it hits you in the nose at the same time. Perfect. Dude, you've nailed that. Oh, so good. So if you guys want to uh, watch a whole load more about the science behind taste and flavour, then head over to Brit Lab, just click up there and you can watch the film that I did with Rich. Um, have a dig around, if you like what we do, please do give us a subscribe. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Drinkstube as well and all the cool, funky stuff that we do over here on this channel. Rich, it's been a pleasure, what a day. Cheers, Cheers mate. Cheers, guys.